Hey, what's going on everybody? This is a noble and today I'm going to be sharing with you my black wing deck profile. So as far as winged beast decks go, I'm pretty sure black wing is the most iconic. Definitely a fan favorite, even more so over raid raptors. It's actually really cool because they do the exact opposite of raid raptors. It's raid raptors are sync, uh, exceed and <laughs> black wing is synchro. So that is really cool. If you haven't seen or have had a chance to play a black wing versus raid raptor matchup, really recommend you do that as a ton of fun definitely one of my favorites uh but yeah guys uh black wings is just a great deck <laughs> um even though you've gotten hit on the ban list quite a bit with steam the cloak being the most recent it's definitely very powerful and it's just a lot of fun to play uh but without further ado let's get into this if you're here and you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe we're on the road to 1000 as soon as we hit a thousand we'll be doing a massive giveaway so definitely keep an eye out for that. So to start with, I'm running, I would play three. Like I'm letting you know now I would play three, but I can't find my third one. So we're running two uh, Black Wing Simone, the Poison Wind. Absolutely 100% recommend you playing three of this. Definitely need three, but I just can't find my third one. So at the moment we're running two. Uh, but he is really, really pivotal at three because what he does is if you control no monsters and have this card in your hand, you can banish one other Black Wing monster from your hand and place one black whirlwind from your deck face up to your spell and trap card zone which is really really good then uh, either send this card to the graveyard or immediately after this effect resolves normal summon it without tributing which is also amazing uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck rest this turn except dark monsters you can only use this effect of black wing summon the poison wind once per turn during the end phase send the black whirlwind place plus effect to the graveyard and if you do take a thousand damage and that is like not a big deal at all uh, because Black Whirlwind just allows us to search, which is really cool as well. Next up, I'm running Triple Chris, the Crack of Dawn. Uh, this one's really great because what it does is if you control a Black a Blackwing monster other than this card, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Blackwing Chris, the Crack of Dawn once per turn this way. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by spell uh, slash trap effect, which is also really cool. But just being able to special summon him, get a free body on the field to go into your sinker plays, is really helpful. I'm also running three Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. This one's really cool uh, because what this one does is it's a tuner and if you control a Blackwing monster other than this card, you special on this card from your hand <laughs> if you're seeing a uh, pattern there. Uh, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls that targets attack and defense become half its current attack and defense which is also really cool just being able to bring this on the field. Use that effect to just really like hinder one of our opponent's monsters and then go into our secret place and they're kind of set us up for a little bit better position i'm also running a triple black wing bore of the spear do not have the ultra ones because those are kind of crazy at the moment uh but the columns do the exact same thing right so if you control a black wing monster other than this card you special this card guess what from your hand you didn't see that coming if this card attacks in its position a defense position monster you inflict piercing damage but again just being able to get those uh, free bodies on the field and this one isn't a once per turn at all it's not even a soft per turn so that is really helpful if you have multiple of these you're able to bring them out and go into your secret place from there also running a triple black wing i don't know how to say it, it's Aust oster of the south wind this one is fantastic uh, it does a lot but it's a tuner and it can't be normal this can't be special excuse me when this card is normal summoned you can target one of your banished Level 4 or lower Black Wing Monster, Special Summon in Defense Position. You can banish this card from your graveyard to activate one of the following effects. You can either place Black Feather Counters on one Black Wing Dragon you control, equal to the number of cards your opponent controls, or you can place a Wedge Counter on each face-up monster your opponent controls that does not have one. That Wedge Counter, gosh, that sucks. Playing that against my buddy Brandon, man, I hate this card in the graveyard. It, it, it really sucks that they have Full Armor Master out. Like, man, that is such a good effect. Uh, I'm also running triple, uh, I don't know how to say it, Harmaton, the Dust. Now this one, if you wanted to play this at two, uh, you could do that. I've seen this played at two, and that's totally fine. I just really running a third one because I can't find the third Simone. Uh, but this one's also really cool. If you control a Blackwing monster other than this card, you can special summon this card from your hand. You only special summon this card once per turn this way. Uh, when this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one other Blackwing monster you control and increase this card's level by that monster. So that's really cool of going into our secret place just having level manipulation i'm also playing like the ugliest bird to exist 
Uh, I'm running two black winged blizzard in the far north. That is an ugly bird, boy. I tell you what. Uh, but it does have a good effect because it can't be special summoned. But when this card is normal summon, you can target level 4 lower black wing monster in your graveyard. And then you special summon that target defense position. Just a lot of setup for going into our synchro plays. Also running uh, double Oroshi the Squall. Uh, what this one does is if you control a black wing monster other than this card, you can special summon this card, guess what, from your hand. And you only special summon uh, black wing Oroshi the Squall once per turn this way. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, which it will be, you can target a monster on the field and change that target's battle position which is also really nice. We're running one of uh, Black Wing Zephyros the Elite, I believe that's how you say it. He has a once per duel effect. Uh, if this card's in your graveyard, you can return a face-up card you control to the hand and special on this card, and then you take 400 burn damage. Which who cares about that 400 burn damage, right? But it's really good just, again, helping out for your synchro plays, just getting some setup. All right, a uh, Black Wing Gladius the Midnight Sun. I really like this one. Uh, if the only face-up monster you control is Black Wing, is one Black Wing monster other than this card, uh, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. And then also, just to round it out, playing the Mist Valley Thunderbird and also the uh, Mist Valley Apex Avian, just for that, uh, you know, infinite negate loop, pretty much, that really sucks, but hey, it's still here and it hasn't been touched, so we might as well use it, right? So to kick off the spells, we are playing Triple Call by the Grave, because you do search quite a bit in this deck, basically like in every deck these days. And just having Call by the Grave just to stop from being hand trapped is really important. Running a Monster Reborn because it's just an absolutely fantastic card. Uh, rank up Magic Soul Shade Force because you do run uh, Force Tricks in this deck, and then being able to use that to go into Infinity is really helpful. Running Triple Black Whirlwind, which I was really excited this card got an Ultra Rare reprint uh, in Battles of Legend Armageddon because it looks really, really good. Um, just And also being cheaper because the other one looked was more expensive. But Black Whirlwind, what it does is a continuous spell, and when a Black Wing monster is normal summoned to your field, you can add a Black Wing monster from your deck to your hand with a less attack than that monster. That is not a once per turn effect either, so like you can really abuse this card. This is what I really wish Raid Raptors would get in some form, but <laughs> unfortunately all they have is Raid Raptor Nest, which is nowhere near as good as this. It's an absolute great card, and just being able to search it out as well with Simone is fantastic. Because like almost everything in this entire deck is dark, we're also running triple Allure of Darkness. You do want to be careful with what you banish, but most of the time, you're going to have a lot of black wing resources to, at your disposal, so banishing something to get that draw power and that advantage is not going to be an issue. And then also running a Foolish Burial as well. And then for the traps, we're just running triple and perm. I would be playing, just to be you know archetype specific, um, the trap i can't remember the name of it but i can't find it anywhere so i am running triple imperm but if you wanted to play that trap card which again i can't the one that negates something and then you can special summon black wind dragon i cannot remember the name of it but i can't find it but the imperm is also an amazing card as well but it is also very expensive so if you do have access to that trap card for some reason i can't remember the name let me know down in the comments below what is the name of that card why can't why can't i think of it why can't i find it I, you probably can't answer that second one but you can definitely help me with the first one so that is actually it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck to kick off the extra deck, we're running one black wing full armor master i would recommend playing two of this if you have two um i don't and it's like a 20 dollar card at the moment so i'm only running one but this card is absolutely amazing definitely when i play against this deck i'm terrified of seeing full armor master hit the field because he's like raid raptor ultimate falcon in the fact that he's unaffected by other card effects all all together which is amazing each time a, a monster your opponent controls activates effects, place a wedge counter on that opponent's monster maximum one uh, after that effect resolves. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls a wedge counter and then take control of it, which is freaking crazy because a lot of times it's gonna be a boss monster. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can destroy all monsters on the field that have a wedge, wedge counter, which if you see now why that south wind card is so great because you can literally just banish it from the graveyard and then put like basically fill the board of wedge counters take what you want and then blow up the rest absolutely crazy combo this card is really great like i said I do recommend you play two of it if you do have disposal of it also running uh black wing armor master this card is really cool it can't be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage from attacks involved with this card at the end of the damage step this card attack a monster you can place a wedge counter on that monster maximum one you can remove all wedge counters from your opponent's monsters the attack and defense of those monsters that had wedge counters become zero until the end of this turn which is really really cool 
I'm also running one uh, Blackwing Obsidian Hot Goat. This was I <laughs> really just looks so cool. Uh, and he also has a great effect where you can target level 5 or higher wing beast type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So he's literally a monster reborn. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets only this card, or when your opponent targets this card for an attack. You can target one other black wing monster you control that would be an appropriate target for that attack or effect. Uh, and, and basically you redirect the target to that card. And you can only use each of the following effects of black wing tamer, obsidian, hot gel once per turn. So literally a monster reborn and then just being able to like kind of protect him with his own effect as well is really cool. Running an Assault Blackwing uh, Chidori, their Rain Sprinkling. What this one does is if this card is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing monster, which it will be as material, it is treated as a tuner monster while facing on the field. This card gains 300 attack for each Blackwing monster in your graveyard, which can really get beefy really quick. And when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one Wing Beast type Synchro monster in your graveyard, accept another copy of this card, and then special summon it. Also running another Assault Blackwing, uh, I don't know how to say this one, Rakiri, the Rain Shadow, Shower, excuse me. Uh, if this card is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing monster's material, is also treated as a tuner while face up on the field. Once per turn, you can target a card your opponent controls up to the number of other Blackwing monsters you control, and then destroy them. So basically this card can be a board wipe because you can literally fill the board with Blackwings on your first turn. I'm running a Blackwing Nothung, <laughs> the Starlight, I think is how you say it. If this card is special summon, inflict 800 burn damage to your opponent. Uh, that, that's alright, I guess. Uh, then, then one face-up monster your opponent controls loses 800 attack and defense. You can only use this effect of Blackwing nothing. <laughs> I say nothing. The Starlight once per turn. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Blackwing monster. In addition, you normal summon set. You only gain this effect once per turn. So basically, it gives you like a double summon effect. As well as some burn damage and then kind of, you know, weakening your opponent as well. I'm running one Black Wing Dragon. This card is really cool. It's also a lot better when you have the trap that I can't remember, nor can I find. Uh, but what Black Wing Dragon does is whenever you take damage from a card effect, you place a Black Feather Counter on this card instead. This card loses 700 attack, and attack for each Black Feather Counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove all Black Feather Counters from this card. To have one face-up monster your opponent controls, lose 700 attack for each Black Feather Counter. And then you inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by that monster because of this effect. I'm also running uh, one Beals, and that's it for the Synchros, but for the XCs, I'm running one number 60. This card's just really, really great. Uh, also running two Raid Raptor Force Tricks. If you wanted to run this at one, that's fine, uh, but the Ultras are really cheap now. You can get them for like th four or five bucks, something like that. Uh, but this is really cool because it's just two level four monsters. Uh, this card gains 500 attack and defense for each Wing Beast monster. That doesn't really matter, though. Um, but you can, once per turn, you can detach a material from this card and then add a level 4 Dark Wing Beast type monster from your deck to your hand, which is awesome. And then uh, with this in the graveyard, you use a Soul Shade Force, you can go into Infinity as well, which is always great. Also running a Union Carrier, a Raid Raptor at Wise Tricks, and then a Samorg, Bird of Sovereign, however you say that, just for that Infinite Negate loop, which is really broken. But yeah, guys, that is it for the deck profile. I do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, as far as wing beasts go, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about black wings. Um, it's just a really, really cool deck, and it's really fun to play. I would like, rec I would recommend you get two full armor masters because this card is really crazy. And a lot of times, when you, like they finally get an out to this card, you're able to just bring it back really quickly anyway, and just it not being affected by anything, being able to literally suck up something your opponent controls, just wipe the board. Guys, this is a really fun deck to play. I really recommend you doing um, a match with this against Raid Raptor or vice versa. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below. What is your favorite winged beast type deck? I would love to hear mine personally. Like I always say, is Raid Raptors, but this is a close second. This is really cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you're here and you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. I would so greatly appreciate that. If you watched this video and you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It allows my videos to circulate around YouTube a little bit more, and you guys have definitely been doing that. You have a game, subscribers, game momentum, and I really, really appreciate it. And while you're here, you might as well hit the bell so you can become a part of the notification team so you don't even miss anything that goes on on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video.